uh, also, I played Resident Evil 4 DLC uh, separate ways, which you recommended to me. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't agree with Phil and Spencer that this is better than the base game, though. I think the best the base game is much more enjoyable. Uh, basically, you've got to face this crab guy like three times, and he was fucking annoying every time I faced him. It was like, go away! Leave me alone! <laughs> that was like the most annoying thing to say to the same guy over and over and over again. I'm like, like, like she goes, oh, I've got a headache, and then he'll teleport in front of you, and then one hit kill you. It was like, well, that's fun. I love that. <laughs> Fucking dickhead. It was challenging. It was annoying. It was, challenging. <laughs> it was just bloody annoying, I thought. But anyway, yeah, I, I apart from that, uh, obviously Ada Wong is good eye candy. I'll give her that. The game, the Capcom know what they're doing. Like I put a video up on our channel saying I play Resident Evil 4 for the story and it's just Ada Wong's ass like five seconds it's like you could tell capcom have done that on purpose it's like oh it's a new cutscene, so it's just we're gonna look at ada's ass for like 10 seconds then slowly pan up and then we'll go into the dialogue <laughs> it's like clearly someone's pandering there <laughs> so yeah yeah that's on our channel if you want to see ada, ada wong's ass for resident evil 4 it's on our channel on our shorts so have fun <laughs> don't have too much fun that's gr- no we'll, we'll skip past that <laughs> Uh, but no, I enjoyed Separate Ways. I thought it was good. Uh, is it ch- like I never played Separate Ways on the original Resident Evil Four. Like I played the original Resident Evil Four, but I never played the uh, extra content with Separate Ways and stuff. So it was nice to get like a fresh perspective on Resident Evil Four, even though everyone's already played that version already before would have already had that experience. But I don't know. Uh, I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, Ada's still voice actor still needs work. I don't know what's going on with the voice acting in that. Um, but yeah, I thought it was interesting just to see a different point of view of the same game, just from like a different angle. I thought the best bit was fighting the giant. Uh, I think that was that was quite fun. Very Attack on Titan, which is just like flying around with a zip wire, like <laughs> slashing him. I thought that was brilliant. Uh, that was like my favorite part of the whole thing. But yeah, I, how long has it been out for? Separate ways, by the way, because I, I is it quite new? Came out, yeah, relatively new. Came out, uh, came out what? Uh, late September, October, oh, okay. maybe. Uh, yeah, I didn't yeah, realize it was that. Re- I didn't realize it was that recent until I like I played it, and then I see loads of YouTubers playing it afterwards. It's like, oh, I guess it's only just come out recently. Then I guess. Um, yeah, yeah not I long enjoyed. At all. It. I enjoyed it. I would say the base game. I would say is ten out of ten. I would say this is probably an eight or nine out of ten. It's still very enjoyable, but I, I'd say the base game's better personally. But it's nice to have like more content. If you enjoyed the original. Here's another 10 hours for you to play a different, slightly different uh, play style. So, yeah, I liked it. So I'm going to take your recommendation on board, and I enjoyed it for what it was, for sure. Thank you for listening to the X Marks the Box podcast. Follow us at X Marks Box on Twitter or X Marks the Box on YouTube. And follow us on all audio podcast services. Thanks for listening.